It's All Gravy with Teresa. Hey guys, this is Teresa from It's All Gravy with Teresa. Uh, saying good morning to you from Bowling Green, Kentucky on a cloudy, humid, hot day. And I made the comment to my brother who lives in Florida today that uh, it's good Kentucky tomato growing weather. Uh, just loving our new garden and all the stuff we're doing with it. Um, this morning, we're going to do a easy, hopefully quick, if you know me, they're not going to be very quick because I talk too much, but a easy recipe for blackberry cobbler. And when I was growing up, this was called either a skillet cobbler or the one cup cobbler. Uh, it's very easy to make and one of those things you can um, adjust it to your family how you like it. So I'm happy to see you all. I am blessed at all the likes, shares, and comments and all the great feedback we're getting. You guys keep that up for me. And um, we're excited about this site and where it might lead to. And we're just leaving it, just trying to enjoy it and have fun and uh, take the next step. Uh, so let's get to the kitchen. All right, guys, we're here in Teresa's kitchen. And always starting off by washing our hands. And I've already cleaned off the countertops and trying to make this thing a little faster so we've got all of our ingredients out here that we're going to use and i guess i should tell you we're going to make blackberry cobbler today um i went to my uncle leroy's the other day and he has tame blackberry bushes and we went out and picked these we got about three cups of fresh blackberries and um in this one cup method we're using one cup of flour one cup of sugar, um, half a teaspoon of vanilla, the two-thirds of a cup of milk. Uh, and mine, I usually go ahead and put a whole cup of milk, and we'll just see about the humidity how much we need. And that's another thing that you can adjust. And in my iron skillet, uh, I've already melted one stick of butter. And I let it brown a little bit because you know I like that flavor that the butter gives. And I used a larger skillet because I like the crust. Um, a lot of people like just the berry taste, uh, but I like when the crust is crunchy on top. So we've already got that ready. We've got our oven on 350. And um, I had just another little quick tip. My apron, I had washed and I haven't ironed it yet. So I keep hanging over here on the coat rack, I keep uh, one of my husband's old shirts. And a lot of times, I know you gals coming in from work, or you men coming in from work, trying to get something on the table. Uh, this is a quick, easy, you don't have to change clothes before you get started. You just throw this over, and I give it a couple of buttons. And that keeps me from getting my clothes dirty because I'm bad about wiping my hands on myself. So, we will start this up. This is, uh, this recipe, I've seen my mother do it different ways. A lot of times, she would cook the berries and the sugar on top of the stove and already have that liquid hot uh, to go into the cobbler. And that I'm doing it, um, I like it better this way. So, we've got a cup of flour, a cup of sugar, and again, the sugar can be adjusted to whatever kind of berries you're using. Uh, these berries were nice and sweet, and, uh, you know, with um, blueberries, you might want to add a little bit more sugar. Strawberries, I mean, this is a good little cobbler for peaches are in season now, even peach cobbler. Uh, so we've got that, and then we're going to start with three-fourths of a cup of milk and see how that makes our, we'll see how that, if it's going to be thin enough, because I want it, again, I like mine with crust. Um, 
So you can see how that's mixing up good. I thought I might need that whisk, but my arms are not too tired. It's early today. So you wanna get your lumps out. And again, I think I told you that we used, it's just plain white granulated sugar, self-rising flour for this one. We're gonna put the vanilla in now. Just a half, uh, one teaspoon. I said, I think I said something different a while ago, but it's one teaspoon and you know, I don't care to roll mine over a little bit. And I think for me, I said two thirds of a cup of milk, but I'm gonna add just a little bit more, again, because I like crust. So I'm gonna end up putting a, enough to make it a cup. And our berries are just beautiful. When I went to uh, my Uncle Leroy's the other day, my husband went out with me, and um, he always tells me to go help myself in the garden. And so I come back with a couple of little things and he said, you know those blackberries are over there if you want them. And so he has tame blackberries, which was the coolest thing. They, um, you know, you don't have all the briars. So he's gonna give me a piece off of his this year. And uh, in the fall, he's gonna show me how to start these blackberries, tame blackberries. So this is my skillet. I've already, it's already hot and our grease is already melted. Again, our oven's on 350. So I'm gonna pour all that mixture in there like that. And then my blackberries, I'm just gonna spoon them in here. So I'm just going to put them all around. I'll do the outside first. So for me, I like a little bit of blackberries with my crust, with my cobbler, I should say. Doesn't that look pretty? So we're going to put this in the oven. And we're gonna put it in there for about 45 minutes. And that crust is gonna come up over top of your berries and it's gonna be pretty and golden brown. And what I like to do is when it's hot, when I first get it out of the oven, uh, I sprinkle a little more sugar on top. And as you'll see, a lot of my recipes are not if you're on ketos. Uh, but you can do that every once in a while. You can have some of this good, rich stuff every once in a while and then go back to ketos through the week. So my handy dandy new range, all pretty and shiny. We're gonna set that right in the middle on one of the higher shelves. And again, it's gonna cook for 45 minutes. Um, this recipe, like a lot of things that we're trying to show you, would be uh, something that you can adjust to your family and pass it down. And I think that's so important that we don't lose these um, true recipes that have just lasted the test of time. Uh, you don't have to go to the store and spend $10 to get something for dessert. Uh, you can whip something up at home and while you're getting undressed and ready for the night with whatever you're having for supper, then you can have a good hot dessert uh, put a scoop of ice cream on top or some whipped cream and your family's going to think that you just worked and worked trying to get that ready for them. Uh, I just appreciate you all so much and I wanted to tell you again how much I thank you for making this a uh, success and uh, we're so excited to see what we're going to be able to do with this. Um, I'm going to have Clint turn us off now. Uh, and we'll be back in 45 minutes and show you how beautiful this cobbler is. Y'all enjoy your next 45 minutes. I'll see you soon. Here's a picture of our cobbler, guys. Do you hear it sizzling and bubbling and getting all golden brown around the edges? It doesn't like long. Hey, guys. Here we are 45 minutes later. And look at that beautiful cobbler. 
Beautiful. Just how I wanted it. Good and golden brown. The edges are cooked really good. All your berries are good and cooked. And then for me, while it's good and hot, I sprinkle just a little bit of sugar over the top. That way every little bite's gonna be have a little crusty sweetness to it. So you let this cool off a little bit. You dish you up a bowl. Put you on some ice cream. I'd put vanilla ice cream or some whipped topping and you have a beautiful dessert that you're going to customize just for your family or hopefully for your company soon. Uh, I love you guys. Thank you again for watching us. Uh, remember to like, share, comment, go to our page and like and follow it and we'll see what happens with this deal. Until next time, this is Teresa with It's All Gravy with Teresa.